Hi everyone, welcome back to Green Sprout Living. On my last video, I was talking all about butternut squash. I preserved some and put it back in a dry storage or cold storage as I was saying it on the last video. And I also canned some. So this video, I'm gonna be talking about four different recipes, two with the canned butternut squash and two with the um, fresh butternut squash that would be in your uh, dry storage. So come along with me today and check out these recipes. So I must start off by saying I am in no way, shape or form a master chef. I cook for my family and it's good enough. Uh, sometimes they complain, sometimes I don't. So uh, I am all about quick, convenient meals, something I can throw together at the last minute because I do work in the salon and I try to develop this channel along with homeschooling my kids. So I have several irons in the fire. So I try to keep my recipes as quick and simple as possible. So I'm hoping these recipes are something that you can put together in like 10 minutes or less. So let's move on and I'll show you the ingredients that we'll need. The first recipe that I'm going to be doing is my cheese sauce. This is my absolute favorite way of making cheese sauce. I have a ton of different recipes for cheese sauce on my website, but this one here, I I like it the most. I use this cheese sauce in macaroni and cheese or anything. I've even used it on grilled cheese before. So anything that calls for like your Velveeta style cheese, um, I, I have used this recipe. So it's very simple. It's just one of your pint jars that you've preserved, uh, your butternut squash, and then you have a fourth of a cup of nutritional yeast, one can of cannellini beans that is rinsed and drained. And then I have a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of vegetable bouillon. So all I'm gonna do is I put it into, I have a Ninja blender. You really need a, a kind of a high speed blender because then it'll get it uh, really nice and creamy. And I just do it cold and then I warm it up on the stove. You can cook it all first, but it's already pre-cooked, so I just try to save as many steps as I possibly can. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this into my blender, and I'll show you the consistency. Okay, so I had to run it a few times, of course. Um, I did go ahead and add about a little less than a teaspoon of water to help uh, get it going. This is a little bit thicker than like your melted cheese, or as you can see, it will thin out whenever you start cooking it. Um, and you can always make it a little bit thinner, just add more water to it. Now, I didn't add salt and pepper. That's your preference if you decide that you want salt and pepper. I usually salt and pepper as I'm cooking it in, in a meal. So I use this cheese sauce in almost everything. I use it over baked potatoes. I use it over broccoli and cheese. Um, I've even turned this into like a broccoli and cheese soup with this recipe. So I really like it. It is... Uh, kind of a staple in my house because everything tastes better with cheese. So that was one of the hardest things that I had to give up when I decided to do a plant-based lifestyle is choosing to stay away from cheese. I didn't mind the, the milk, but it was the cheese. So I'm so glad that I have been able to find a cheese that I can pretty well replicate. And Okay, so there you go. Um, this stays good for, I usually, I never usually have it in the refrigerator more than a week. Usually when I'm making a batch of this, I'm using it in a recipe or I plan on making, um, it throughout the week. So that is my cheese sauce. So let's move on to the next recipe. So my second recipe is going to be butternut squash soup. I can my butternut squash in quart jars because this will make a full meal for everybody. Really all you have to do is warm it. Um, and then once it's warmed up, then you take the immersion blender to it and then salt and pepper to taste. So like I say, most of these meals that I'm doing is like, you should be able to do it within 10 minutes. So I like quick, easy meals because I am a busy mama. This recipe called for one apple, finely chopped. Then I added my canned butternut squash, two cups of vegetable broth, a half a cup of unsweetened soy milk. Make sure it's unsweetened. <laughs> a half a cup of uh, chopped onions, and then one teaspoon of each 
garlic powder, onion powder, as well as cinnamon. I then mixed it up and then I got it heating on the stove. Once the apples were soft, I used my immersion blender to blend it up. Now you can use a regular blender, which is fine. I just like using my immersion blender. So the next recipes that I have call for the butternut squash that you have in your dry storage. So I'm gonna use just the one and I'm gonna cut the recipe in half because both recipes pretty well call for the same preparation with the butternut squash. You peel it and cube it. Um, one is just more of a breakfast recipe and the other one is more of a savory recipe. So I'll go ahead and get this prepared and I'll come back when I get it all done. My savory dish for the butternut squash is pretty simple. It's just, you coat it with an oil of your choice. You can use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, whatever oil that you choose. I have olive oil on hand, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, and then either a rosemary or thyme, or you could do garlic. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to do it plain and simple, and it's gonna be rosemary. So coat and I'm not really measuring here because I'm only using half of the butternut squash um, for this recipe you can then put it on a baking sheet and put it in the oven I love my air fryer the air fryer that I have is the instapot brand I think it's called the vortex so I'm gonna put the butternut squash on my tray and put it into the air fryer okay my breakfast recipe is roasted butternut squash with a maple glaze. I do this a lot with sweet potatoes too, but I do grow a ton of butternut squash. So when I have extra and I want to use them up, this is a great recipe. My kids love it. Basically, all you do is coat it with your maple syrup. I love cinnamon, so I top it with cinnamon a lot of times, and then I roast it. And again, I use my air fryer. You can also use the oven if you want to. So I'm going to coat this with your maple syrup. And I just kind of toss it around to get it coated. And that's probably, like I say, this is a half of a recipe because I used half of the other butternut squash. So I coat it. I'm going to put it on my tray and separate it out. So I'm going to get these put in the air fryer and I'll show you the end result. So there was four quick, simple recipes with butternut squash. Um, I just got finished cleaning up my kitchen and I decided I needed a sweet treat. So I'm eating the breakfast recipe that I just made. Um, if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like that, make sure that you like and subscribe and leave me a comment below on which recipe that you think that you'll try first. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.